Which Ninja Turtle has one leg longer than the other? Lean Leonardo. Which Ninja Turtle is most likely to get fat? Donatello. Which Ninja Turtle has a sweet tooth? Michelangelo. And which Ninja Turtle needs to wear deodorant? Rafi Smell. And you're watching Balloon Animal Lessons number 72. Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and I made up all those jokes. And I'm also going to teach you how to make a Ninja Turtle this week. How cool is this thing? With the movie coming out, these are going to be really popular. Let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need five balloons. I'll be using three lime green 260s, one yellow goldenrod 260, and I'm making Raphael, so I'm going to use a red 160 for his bandana. We're going to start with our Ninja Turtle's head. Get your lime green 260 out and inflate it about halfway. Let some air out and tie. Give the balloon a nice squeeze and a stretch because we want it soft. We're going to make a small flower petal. Not too big. We're going to take that knot, we're going to feed it through the middle. Make sure it doesn't come undone on us. Now we're going to make a pinch twist. Give the balloon a squeeze, twist a one inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it, twist it. And you should have something that looks like that. Now we're going to make a one inch bubble. Now we're going to make another pinch twist bubble, one inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it, twist it, and you should have something that looks like this now. Now we're going to make a large flower petal. We don't want it to be too big, we just want it to be big enough to where you can fit your finger through. Give it a squeeze, make sure it's soft, and if you can put your finger through it and pull it out easy, it's the right size. If it's too loose, make it smaller. The reason why we want that hole in the middle is because we're going to feed this pinch twist through it. And there we have the face of our Ninja Turtle. Now it's time to add our bandana. For your bandana, get your 160 out of whatever color mask you want. I'm making Raphael, so I'm using red. You want to blow it up about halfway. Ooh, that is so tough. I am so seeing sparkles. All right, I'm tying the balloon. Stretch it, make sure it's soft. Now we're gonna twist a small bubble, maybe about an inch, you know, a little bit. This is gonna be one of the banana parts that comes off the back. And we're gonna twist that into the back of our head. So get your head. All right, now that I have my head, you can see there's a pinch twist right here on the back. I'm gonna twist this section right into there. Next, I'm gonna give this balloon a squeeze because I want it to be soft. And I'm gonna wrap it around that small flower petal really tight. Then I'm going to twist it from here in back to that pinch twist. There we go. Now in the back I'm going to make another one that same size. I have it there so I want to make a knot there. So I'm going to go up higher. I'm going to break it off. Let the air out and tie it right there. And there we have our Ninja Turtle bandana. Whenever I use a 160 in a design, some of you ask me if you can use a 260 instead. And yes, yes you can. But as you can see, it just looks a little bit thicker. I like the look of the 160 better, but it's up to you. Use whichever one you like. Since we have his head, let's make his shell next. For the shell, you'll need your yellow goldenrod 260. Inflate it about halfway. Let's him air out and tie. Give the balloon a squeeze and a stretch. We're going to start by making two pinch twists. So make a one inch bubble, followed by another one inch bubble. What I like to do is I'll fill them over, twist them together, take that slack where the knot is, wrap it through the seam nice and tight, and it'll give me my two pinch twists. Now I give the balloon a squeeze, and I want to make four sections the same length, but I want a bubble in between sections two and three. Let me show you what I mean. You're going to make a section maybe about two inches long, another section that same length. There we go. So these two here should be the same length. Now I'm gonna make a one inch bubble. Now I'm gonna make two sections the same length as the first two I made. So these two here and these two here should all be the same length. I'm going to twist this section into this section over here. 
Now this bubble here, on the end, I'm gonna pinch twist. So I'm gonna fold it over, I'm gonna pull it, pinch it, and twist it. Now I'm gonna take these two, and I'm gonna twist them together. And that's the front of the shell. At this time, I'm gonna use the rest of this to make the back of the shell. But if you want a two-toned shell, you can break this part off and replace it with a brown balloon, just attaching it to the pinch twist on the top. But I like to say balloon, so I'm gonna make the shell all out of one color. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna fold it over, and because I want a flat looking shell, I'm gonna make sure that it meets right here at this pinch twist. Just give it a squeeze so it's soft. I'm gonna twist it right there so that I know when I twist that in, this part here on the top is gonna be pretty much flat. However long that is, I wanna make another one that same length. So I'm gonna fold it back over, give it a squeeze, and I'm gonna twist it into that same spot. There we go. If they're not perfectly the same length, it's okay. You just wanna make sure they're sort of close. And we have the back of our shell and the front of our shell, but this part here we don't need. So we can break it off and get rid of it. And then take this part, wrap it around a couple of times and tuck it under. And there we have our turtle shell. Now it's time to attach our head onto our shell. We're gonna make a small bubble, maybe about one inch. And we're gonna break this part off we're gonna tie the knot there. That's gonna be our little neck. Now we're gonna take this knot here and where those two pinch twists are on our shell, we're gonna wrap it into there, but on the bottom. So go ahead and wrap it around to the bottom. You should have something that looks like that. The reason I wrap it on the bottom instead of wrapping it around through the middle is because that'll make this sit funny later. This way, you can pull the neck up and set it in between the two pinch twists and it'll sit nice and even, look straight instead of being pushed to one side. Isn't that cool? All right, so we have our turtle, and now he needs arms and legs. Next up are his legs. Get your green 260 out and inflate it about halfway. Let's them out and tie. Give the balloon a good stretch. We're gonna start by making two sections, each two inches. Now we're gonna twist the knot here into this seam over here. Keep the knot from coming undone, we're gonna feed it through the middle. So we don't have to worry about it unraveling on this. Now we're gonna make a one inch bubble, pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. There we go. Now we're gonna make his leg. So we're gonna go up about four inches, twist there. We have his lower leg. Now we're gonna make his knee. We're gonna use a pinch twist for his knee. One inch bubble, fold it over pinch twist it. There we have his knee. Now we're going to go about two inches up, twist the section there. There we have his upper leg. Now we're going to do another one inch bubble pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. And there we have his hip. Then I make a small one inch bubble right there. And I'm going to twist this seam here into the pinch twist at the bottom of the shell. So get your shell, and right here where that pinch twist is at the bottom, twist this seam into there. And you can see the leg already. Now we need to make the other leg in reverse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that one inch bubble from the hip, followed by a pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. Now we have our hip. Now we're gonna make our upper leg. So we're gonna do two inches, twist a section there. Another one inch bubble. Fold it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. There we have the other knee. Now we're coming down to the lower leg. We're gonna make a four inch section, twist there. And we're gonna make the two sections for the front of the foot first. The reason we do that is that a pinch twist is a lot more secure and less likely to come unraveled on you. So we're gonna make two two inch sections. It should be roughly about the same size. And twist this part here into this part here. Fold them over, twist them together. Now I'm out of room, so this is a little tricky. I can let some air out and try to make a pinch twist or I can try to make the pinch twist and then pop whatever's left. I'm gonna go for option number two. So I'm gonna twist a one inch bubble. I'm gonna fold it over. I'm gonna pinch twist it. Oh, that's tough. That was so gonna pop on me if it had any more air in there. 
But now I don't need the rest of that part, so I'm gonna twist a small bubble on the end. I'm gonna pop that bubble. I do that so the whole thing doesn't rupture on me. So now I can let it out. And now I have this nice slack to wrap up in there and to push through the foot. There we go. And just like that knot, that ends not gonna come undone on me. So now we have a Ninja Turtle with legs but no arms. Time for his arms. For his arms, we'll be using our last balloon, a Lime Green 260. Inflate it about halfway. Let a little air out and tie. Give it a nice stretch. Now you'll notice a lot of similarities between the arms and the legs. The only thing that we're really changing are the proportions and what the ends look like. Instead of using two two inch sections, I'm gonna use a flower petal, a small one for the hand. And then I follow that up with a pitch twist. But before I do that, I'm gonna take that knot, I'm gonna push it through the center. Now I'm gonna make a one inch bubble, fold it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. And there I have my hand. Now I'm, I'm going to do a, a two inch section. You know, maybe a three inch section. Give him some bigger arms. There we go. Follow that up with another one inch bubble pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. We have one elbow. Now we want to make his upper arm. So I'm going to go up maybe two inches now. Follow that up with a one inch bubble pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. And there I have a shoulder. So now I'm going to make a small one inch bubble. And this is the part I'm going to twist to those two pinch twists that's on the top of the shell. So get your shell, and right here, where those two pinch twists are, you're going to want to twist this seam here right into there. You only have to go around once, because more than that, it's not going to be any more secure. You're just going to be using up some of your uninflated balloon. I'm going to adjust them a little bit. Oh, it looks so cool already. All right, now we need to make the other arm, but in reverse order. So what we're going to do, we're going to make that small bubble that leads to the shoulder, that one inch bubble right there. Then we're going to make a one inch bubble pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. There we go. Now we're going to make his upper arm. So we're going to go down two inches. Just a section there. Now it's time for his elbow. One inch bubble pinch. <laughs> one inch bubble pinch twist. I've said that a lot this video. Fold it over. Pull it, pinch it, twist it. Okay. Now we can make this lower arm. So we're going to make three inch section right here. Now I'm going to do a small flower petal just like I did for this stand. Same size. And then this one has a little bit more left inflated, or excuse me, uninflated on the end. So I'm gonna make a small bubble there. I'm gonna pinch twist that one inch bubble. I'm gonna twist these both together to prevent them from coming undone on me. So now I'm gonna pop that in, just a small bubble. Snap my, my fingers and I can pop it. Let the air out while holding the blow. And now I can wrap that around a couple of times and tuck it through the hand. So it's not coming undone on me. Plus, it's a really good place to hide it so you, you don't see like all the loose ends. What I like about this design is that it's super posable though. All those extra pinch twists allow you to position the arms however you like. You can put the legs however you like. You can make a really funny looking Ninja Turtle. It's awesome. It's like an action figure. You can, it's really playable. I love it. All right, it's time for the art. For the artwork, I'm going to be using a white paint marker and a black marker. The white paint marker I'm using is an Edding 750, and the black marker is just a standard Sharpie. The first thing that I like to do is shake the paint marker up really good. When I open it, I pump it once just to get a little bit going. Put this someplace because it might have a little bit of paint still in it. So you want to make sure you put that someplace where it's not going to spill on your balloons. Now the first thing that I do is I draw a large circle on the side but towards the front of the eye on the bandana, just like that. And then I lead it forward a little bit, sort of like a little sideways comma. And I do the same on the other side, in the same spot. There we go. We got our two little eyes there. Then I do the same thing for the mouth, but only bigger. So I'm going to make a large circle, and I'm going to lean that forward some. And I only do that on one side, because I want it to be more of like a sneer. Here's another tip for you. A damp paper towel is really good at getting all that paint off your fingers. Now it's time for our black Sharpie. 
for the black Sharpie, what I do is I trace the white for the eye, and that becomes my eye hole there. I do the same for the other one. Got my two little angry eyes. And then I like to make like a furled brow. So right above the eye, I do an arch that goes and follows it down a little bit. Do that on the other eye too. And that makes him look like he's really menacing, you know, because he's a ninja, even though he's a turtle. Okay, next, I'm gonna follow, just trace the mouth. And then here, I'm gonna extend that line out just a little bit. And then I'm gonna make, give him some teeth. So I'm gonna draw a line through the middle. And I'm just gonna go some vertical lines real quick. Not very many, just two. That way it looks like he's really sneering out of the side of his mouth. Arr, he's a mean turtle. And our Ninja Turtle is done. Let me know what you think in the comments below. While you're down there, you can let me know what you wanna learn next week. Also, the movie just came out this week. Did you get to go see it? If you saw it, did you like it? Did you hate it? If you didn't see it, when are you gonna go see it? I'm hoping to see it next weekend, so don't spoil anything for me. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and tickle that thumbs up button. And if you wanna be kept up to date, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I make new balloon animal lessons on Mondays. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister, reminding you that anything can be made out of balloons. If you ever read the old comic book, they actually had the sneer on both sides of their face instead of just one. So instead of looking like mean and going like, it looked more like they had a poop and they were going like, Urgh.